What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Virgo, I'm going to start with what is going on in your mind. It's going to be something like a you versus them, but we're going to dig a little deeper. So if these messages resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, check the description box for that. I'm questioning something, Virgo. I'm wondering if we're wasting our time with something. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, then you can find my PayPal information in the comment section. Or you can hit the thanks button below. So, Virgo. In the subconscious, there's something that we're waiting for. You're wondering if somebody has betrayed you. Or if somebody has found out something. Or if somebody's trying to play with your mind. Maybe I'm trying to impress somebody that is never going to be impressed. Maybe this person's jealous of me. Maybe it's, it's, it could be all kinds of feelings here with that. You are wondering why somebody's keeping their emotions from you. Are they dealing with someone else? Have they moved on? be a Pisces here. You're wondering if this person's thinking about you anymore. You're wanting to... There's, there's, there's some obsessive energy here. Or if somebody's wondering, we're also going to be reversed, take out how it resonates, but... I see somebody wondering here, like, has somebody started doing something again or started talking to someone else? There's an energy of keeping my eye on this situation, wanting to come back, holding on to it tightly in my emotions. It's something we're not letting die, but it's like I'm giving it room to see what it does. Whose reading was like that? Either Leo, Cancer, or Aries. There's a Cancer in this reading, too, so. And, there, and an Aries. But we're not communicating. Things are moving really slow. There's a lot of quiet going on. like the more that I try to get this off of my mind, the more I want to look at it because there's something it's something's too quiet, it's too mysterious. The ending was too peaceful or somebody's like trying to cut an energetic cord here. Having a problem letting go of control over a situation, okay? What's on your mind, in the front of your mind, conscious mind? Hmm. You're ready to move forward. There could be Aries here. There's something about the trail here. And being put on hold or put on pause, you know. There could be an Aries on your mind that's like, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to let you just put treat treat our relationship like there's a pause button it's like i want to return to this but i don't want to commit to this i like being single but i want to make peace with this person but maybe are you already in a relationship something that's being lied about here something that's being held on to i want to take this leap but somebody's already got a partner but there's Still anticipation. What's this Aries about? Or it could have been something that happened in Aries season. We still have a weakness for an Aries here. We still keep our eye on this person. It's something we want to say. But we like being single. It's like we can't. 
make a decision about that so we keep our emotions repressed, even though we do want to talk to this person. Roles can be reversed. I keep hearing like, no, that's not me. A little fortune. It was definitely a choice here. Somebody gave the other person room to see what they were gonna do, and I think they did what they what that person thought they were gonna do. But it feels like somebody went and made the wrong choice. They put work into something that was against their better judgment here. They could have gone to a person and they made the wrong choice of who they wanted to be with. And there was somebody here who, who didn't like being put on the bench because of someone else's indecision about what is it that's going to make me happy. I'm not going to stay trapped with you in the land of limbo. Like I said that in Kansas reading. What you know but you haven't quite accepted yet is that there's somebody who's half-assing you or you're half-assing someone. Okay, and we got to get out of our head and actually say something, but there's hesitation in that too, because we don't know if it's going to work. We don't know if this person is still interested, but we can't stop thinking about the connection here, but there's a lack of, I want to get it off my mind, there's something about it's not right. I want to get out of my head and engage in this, but something's not right. Maybe this person isn't waiting on me anymore. Maybe this person won't commit to me because they're already with someone else. There's something that makes this very disappointing. I know if I'm going to have the Ten of Cups, I can, I can only give my time to people who truly value me. I can't give my time to people who have to ask me. And it's not my job to change anybody's mind about that. I got to shift my focus. I have to make a decision. Something's got to go. I've been putting... I've been planting seeds with too many or something like that. And it's only kept me stuck and in disharmony with all of the people that I've been trying to hold on to. Or all of the things that I've been trying to hold on to by way of deceiving someone else. Does that make sense? I just gotta, I gotta narrow it down. I can only give my time to people who value me person in your energy feels like they can't fix this so they can't fix you it could be a cancer and i feel like they they feel that this isn't over why is my music not playing they feel like this isn't over but they're also at the point where it's like i'm not afraid to decline this i'm not afraid to let this go stop fighting for this it's too much conflict yes i acknowledge the connection I'm getting a headache right here. I want this again, but I can't put no energy into it. What is... You know, headaches can mean certain things. So, whatever the one in the front is, is connected to whatever's in this room. Okay. Look up what it... Um, what am I trying to say? What it means to get a headache in the front. Because, you know, some headaches in the back mean something. Headaches in the front and the top, they all mean something. Look at that. It's too much of a headache. That's just what this person feels. They feel like there was definitely um, other people who got involved in the situation, which caused a lot of the disappointment. It, like, killed the dream between the two of you. What's on their mind is... I got to do, it's like, they're wondering if if returning to this or committing to this would be the right thing to do. Because if you come into my life, it's like every time you come into my life, you throw things off. 
And I feel like a lot of your insecurities get projected on me. And it's because you are not sure what it is that you want. That's how this person is, you know, that's what's on their mind. Death in the reverse again, though. It's like, I feel like it's not over, but I also feel like there's no possibility for it to go anywhere. So maybe I should just, even though it doesn't make me happy, I can't stay stuck. So in this person's higher conscience, I feel like they know it's a part of them. It's disappointment. They feel like if they come back, it'll be disappointing. And they feel like they should let it go. But there's a part of them that's like, really wants you. They want a victory with you. They feel the two of cups with you, but they don't trust it. And they've been hurt. They've been a little calloused from this situation. They may feel like um, it's, you're, you two work well together or like you meet some about deadlines. You two work together well as a team. There could be a Gemini here. They may know that uh, they may know something about a Gemini or like a double life here or something like that. Or they may know that you have a thing for a Gemini, but you don't know how to make it work. But there's like a, you want to control a situation there. I don't know. There may also be something about a pregnancy here. It's like also they feel like they want to reconnect, but they stay quiet because they, they lack hope that things can get to a more peaceful place or a place of harmony between you two. It's like they feel like maybe I should just let it go doubt that's a lot of doubt here Virgo. my heart feels so warm though what the freak Virgo you feel like this person is quick to give up and they're not intentional about what they want with you or that could be the way you're feeling like maybe I'm not the best partner for this person um, I feel like you Maybe you feel like maybe either you treated this person like their heart was unbreakable or vice versa. You like hope, but you can't stop thinking about them. I want to work this out, but I feel abandoned. Maybe I should just let go, but I still want it. I'm still attracted to this. I want to celebrate this, but it feels like it's too heavy. You don't want to commit to it, though. You just want it back. <laughs> Is that it? You want to make things right. Maybe you just want to tell them, I really don't know what to do with you. I don't want to commit, but you make me happy. What is that about? <laughs> right? And you can't approach this practically. You have emotions for this person. They got emotions for you. They feel like either maybe you haven't forgiven them or they haven't forgiven you. They feel taken for granted. They do want something serious. And they're not waiting. It's like I want to return. Something's pulling me back. But I got they got cold feet. They don't want to commit. They know they're unhappy about the fact that you don't want to commit to this. But they, they feel that pull too. They just don't see where it could go anywhere. You, they, you make them happy, but they look at you like a player, honey. They would like a decision, but it's like, why would I come back to something that's still not what I want? But there's an undeniable feeling between the two of you. That sucks. Because <sighs> somebody's going to have to change. <laughs> somebody's going to have to do something, you know, if it means that much. Or we could just experience it for what it is. Because it's kind of nice, right? But it's kind of toxic. Okay. Um, the chariot in the reverse, you both feel like this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you both feel like you're out of control about it. It makes you nervous. You love each other more than you know, but you don't want to continue investing in it. But you want to communicate. But you want to be guarded. Because you want to remain in control. I've heard of who walks away first or who breaks the chain or something like that. It's like you both want to start over, but you isolate yourselves from each other. You give up against your better judgment. 
or something like that. The masculine energy here kind of keeps things at a mystery because he's undecided. The feminine energy holds back because she is <laughs> decided. It's too, it was too much pain connected to this. So she's not giving her heart. She's holding back what's valuable to her. And I feel like she moves on with the mystery. With the memory. Oh, the mystery. She, it's still a mystery to her. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what that boy wants. He's still, he seems to still be in a connection. <laughs> Possibly with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody that made him happy. Somebody he's still attracted to. But things don't work between the two of these people. That's the mutual energy. And that's why it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's why. It's a lot of um, incompatibility or like unwillingness to bend uh, uncompromising energy in the readings lately. It just reminds me of this uh, video of Aika Kit. She was like, I shouldn't have to compromise to be in a relationship. She's too like compromise. Relationships ought to be earned. <laughs> and I just got my whole life listening to that. You feel like being apart from this person has changed you or has changed your life. You just feel like you're doing, you try not to think about it too much. You're doing what you got to do right now. You need more time to figure things out. I feel like you know that you crossed the line with this person. It's just what's on your side. If it's not your side, it's on their side. Um, so it's kind of like one may never know, honey. We don't communicate the way we used to. I just got caught up in the moment. I want to tell this person how I feel because I'm afraid to lose them. But I... I keep myself distracted in order to not feel what I'm feeling, possibly for this person. And I know that I need to to fix some things with this person. This person feels like it's not flowing. Maybe, maybe some blame game going on here, too. Like maybe I was wrong about you, but I feel like the tables have turned. Nobody compares to you. I don't feel like they feel like they did anything wrong. They're questioning if, if you line up with where it is that they want to be. I think that was the whole thing. You two want something different. But the connection, though. <laughs> it's like... Oh my God, this song is playing right now. It's called Chasing Butterflies. Leo had a butterfly reference in their reading too. So you may want to check out Cancer and Leo. Aries and Gemini's here too. So there's that. They keeping their mouth closed about what they want with you though. But they kind of feel like oh, they're sad. They're sad without you. But you, they don't want to lose you. They wait for a sign. You two have a musical connection, but they feel so disappointed. This person's going through their life stuff, though. You know, they, they're doing their life stuff, but they just, they do have an unconditional love for you. And they work a lot in order to not think about you. Right on. Nobody's making a decision here. There is true love between the two of you, but you continue to keep away from each other <laughs> because you want two different things. So I don't see commitment. There may be children involved in this situation or somebody just hasn't grown up yet. Um, soulmate romantic feelings are in the reverse. So you're not my soulmate. I don't feel anything romantic for you, but I want to give this relationship a chance. So is it that somebody just wants to be friends? It's like I'm making an effort, but not to reconcile. Somebody just wants to be friends. Somebody still has a past relationship thing going on here.
So whoever is uninvolved in this reading, stay optimistic about your love life. Because somebody here is wearing a mask and it looks like they want to be friends. Okay? And you need to free yourself. Take control back over your life, honey. I feel like somebody didn't pay attention to the red flags here. They ended up kind of isolated in this situation too. But it's safe for you to love. I just don't know if it's in this situation. Y'all love each other, but somebody's like... I, it feels like a friend zone. Because it's like nobody's compromising. And maybe you're not supposed to. I don't know, Virgo. Y'all tell me in the comments. I'm going to leave it there. Um... Yeah, somebody's not single. Either in the physical world or in the energy. They still caught up on somebody else. So anyway, um, like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. If you would like to donate to the channel, check the comment section for that for my PayPal information. Also, if you would like a personal reading, check the description box for that. I'm wishing you the best, Virgo, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.